Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geek Shorts, the La Aurora Blending Kit. I'm here with Mr. Will Cooper in studio. Welcome, Will. Hey, Paul. Very excited to go through this blending kit yet again. I mean, I could probably I could go through this blending kit multiple times because it's just so awesome. Well, you've definitely over the past year have been kind of on a lot of these seminars you've gone through. So I, I have. think you've gotten a good feel for yeah. So I've done the Manuel, which is the one we're going to do uh, in these segments. We're going to break it up into multiple segments. Uh, I've done Jose's and I've done my Carcolots. And you said you've also done Fred Ruiz. I haven't done Fred yet. Okay, I have done Jose. But his is on my list because yeah. it's one that I haven't done. And I've done Hankies. And Hankies. Yep. Yeah. So yep. there's a lot of blending seminars out there. Um, this kit. You can buy, you can see Will and I are holding our boxes. We've got pictures that we're going to put up as well of these blending kits. Um, You can buy these kits and the DVD. So the kit and the DVD is $50. You have to call the Havana Cigar Club. I'm going to look that number up, Will. Do you remember the number off the top of your head? I don't. (laughs) But you can call the Havana Cigar Club and you can order these uh, for 50 bucks. Yeah, and the DVD is actually a special Stogie Geeks DVD where we recorded the actual blending seminar with Manuel and Noah. Yes. 401-287-4250. 401-287-4250 is the number for Havana Cigar Club. So you get the blending kit, you get the DVD, and you get Manuel's uh, PowerPoint presentation as well that he was displaying up on the screen, uh, which I have here uh, as a reference, which explains everything about the blending kit. Now, the one thing that isn't very well explained in all those materials that Will and I had to find out uh, right before we started was there are four filler tobaccos in the blend that you smoke. And this is the La Aurora Preferidos blend. Yes. So it comes, uh, so the Cameroon is the, the one that you get with it. So you get one of the, this is the full blend. I'll hold this up. You get one of these short little, what are these Preferido numbered? Threes. Number three, you see yeah. the, the short little uh, preferito with the Cameroon wrapper on it. You don't smoke the binder in this blending kit, but you smoke all four of the filler tobaccos as individual cigars, otherwise known as perritos. Yes. So in order, this is very important to pay attention, from left to right, okay, you've got Peruvian, Bahia, Nicaraguan, and Dominican. And Bahia is Brazilian. Brazilian, right. So you've got a a, a Peruvian, Brazilian, Nicaraguan, Dominican, in order from left to right. So when you get this kit, don't mix them up. You might want to label them. They all come in in cellophane, um, but you're going to pick them up from left to right. And if you buy the kit with the the video, you'll see uh, Manuel cues you to say, pick up the cigar that's the leftmost cigar, and that is the uh, Peruvian one. So we're going to go ahead and light that one up um, while we talk about the other cigar. That's you. Now, you get a cutter and a lighter in this kit. That's kind of tight. Um, and this one, you know, has the flat back, so you cut it the perfect way every time. I, I like to cut mine twice sometimes to get a little more, uh, little more depth on there, which is good. Um, you get another churchill size cigar. And the churchill size cigar is all of the wrappers that are in all of the Preferito blends. So from order from right to left, you'll see there's a little bit of the filler and the binder exposed. So I guess you do get to smoke, I mean, not just the binder, but just the filler and the binder. Experience what that tastes like, what the aroma is like from just the filler and the binder. Then you progress through all of the different wrappers on all the different Preferito blends. And of course, all of our Stoey geeks out there know exactly what those are. We don't even have to tell them. That's one of those trivia questions, right? Exactly. I have it here for reference because I sometimes forget. So from right to left, you have Connecticut, Cameroon, Ecuadorian Sumatran, Brazilian, Broadleaf, I'm assuming that's Connecticut Broadleaf. Yes. Um, and Corojo. Yeah, and the, yep, got it right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to light up um, this Perito, which is the just the Peruvian tobacco that, and of course my lighter's not going to work because we're filming. Oh, wait, there it goes. It just, it took, you know what, it took it a minute to get warmed up. Yeah. We these are actually really, Will and I really like these lighters. We carry them all the time because they're small and light and they don't burn through a lot of fluid. Yep. Um, so it's actually a really nice lighter to have. And f- I tell you what, 50 bucks for all of that stuff uh, is a really good deal to yep. experience this blending kit. Um, and again, you get the cutter and the lighter with it. It's actually a really nice cutter and lighter. Um, you get that Churchill. You can smoke all the different wrappers. And you get that little Cameroon. And that, I tell you what, that little Cameroon is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Is that good? 
That is good. So we're going to light up our Peruvian tobacco. I have never had a burrito, a Peruvian burrito. So I'm kind of, I know you've kind of gone through this already. So in the presentation and in the slides, uh, Manuel describes Peruvian tobacco as low in strength, very aromatic, and it burns well. It, it, it lit right up. Yeah, It lit right up. And I tell you what, I've kind of talked about Peruvian when it's in a blend, and I'm getting that herbal grassy this right out of the gate. Um, Manuel also talks about, because uh, I just picked up something, he talks about, and Jose talks about this as well, that your basic flavors or tastes that you can taste are sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. And I get a saltiness, saltiness right when you, list, yeah, when you light this salty. up. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, if you don't like, I'll tell you what, if you, if you don't like the dry smokes, you're not going to like this burrito, but... It um, is kind of it is dry, but it's not. That's another to, component that we really don't talk about in, in this context so much. But I do find this to be very dry. But like again, it, it's not a regular everyday smoke you're going to have. Yeah, either. it kind of leaves that like on your on your palate. Um, but there's almost like a salted. Uh, de- when you retrohale this, you'll really get the salt. <laughs> but he's right; the salt's on the sides of the tongue, and that's where I'm picking it up. Yeah, and he so he tell and he does say dryness, which is interesting. Yeah. So he says, as I drop this on the table, he says that you get saltiness, usually accompanied by dryness, and you get it on the sides of the tongue because it kind of makes you like salivate a, a yep. little bit after. I mean, it dries it out, and then I think as a response, your your mouth is salivating. I'll say this: if you are smoking a cigar and you and you kind of know there's Peruvian in it, and then you have this, you'll 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 definitely be able to pick up Peruvian tobacco probably a little better. But now when you smoke this, right, try and pay attention to the sides of your tongue and really get that sensation because you can really pick it out. Um, I find it's a little spicy on the, on the retrohale too. Yeah. A little, little sting a little, to but it. Yeah, but you'll get that saltiness on the retrohale as well. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it coats your mouth pretty well too. I find it's got a kind of like a, I yeah. think that's what it means by aromatic. I would, yeah. I would agree with that. But there's no, there's no nicotine on this thing. I mean, this is very mild. Yeah, you're right. It's not like a, a thick nicotine or potent yep. nicotine uh, yep. you get from it. So um, we're gonna we're gonna smoke this perito um, and probably come back. We're gonna try and make it. All, I mean, typically you don't smoke the whole perito. I tell you what, though, I remember from the seminar, some of these perritos are so good. Will you're gonna want to smoke the whole thing? Yep. Like they're almost good by themselves, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, just some other notes um, before we cut out uh, and go on to the next one. You want to have some sparkling water. Um, it doesn't matter which brand. I don't know. We're, we're giving some Poland Spring some free advertising, whatever. Uh, have some any kind of uh, club soda, not tonic water, very different, not tonic water, club soda. Also through the blending seminar, I don't, I don't think I actually have any coffee beans. Manuel fills up uh, cups with coffee beans, uh, and you smell the coffee beans, and that cleanses your, your nose, and then the water cleanses your palate. So if you are going to go through this kit, um, I say it in the video, and I'll say it again. Make sure you've got cutter, lighter, the blending kit, obviously, uh, club soda or sparkling water of some kind, not tonic water, and uh, so a few coffee beans inside of a cup, you know, a nice ashtray, because you're going to have lots of, you know, perritos in there, and you'll be ready to go. So... Uh, with that, we'll come back and uh, let you know how our Peruvian tobacco is doing, and then we're going to move on to the next one. <laughs> 